we meet just a few weeks after the New Delhi G20 summit, a summit which took place on the theme of One Earth, One Family, One Future. It was a challenging summit. It was actually a challenging presidency. And it was challenging because uh, we were confronting a very sharp east-west polarization. Your presence means a lot to us. It also expresses the sentiments that you feel for India and underlines the importance of South-South cooperation. We meet just a few weeks after the New Delhi G20 summit, a summit which took place on the theme of One Earth, One Family, One Future. Now, it was a challenging summit. It was actually a challenging presidency. And it was challenging because uh, we were confronting a very sharp east-west polarization as well as a very deep north-south divide. But we were very determined as the presidency of the G20 to make sure that this organization on which uh, the world really had put so much hope, that this was able to get back to its core agenda, and its core agenda was of global growth and development. So it was appropriate that we started our G20 presidency uh, by convening the Voice of the Global South Summit an exercise which involved 125 nations of the South, of which most of you in some capacity participated. Now, during the course of that exercise and uh, the deliberations which took place through the various ministerial tracks and engagement groups, it was very clear to us that the Global South, uh, in addition to bearing the, uh, the consequences of structural inequity, inequities and historical burdens, was plagued by, by the impact of mercantilism and economic concentration, was suffering from the devastating consequences of the COVID, and was beset by conflict, tensions, and disputes which have stressed and distorted the international economy. 